All right, how's it going today, guys? We are here today because I never formally introduced uh, Fixius Lure Company. Uh, so back in 2019, I started a spoon lure company for trout and various fish that I have in my area and uh, uh, decided to name it Fixius Lures, uh, Fixius Lure Co. And uh, I've been doing Outside with Dad and, and trying to keep up with Outside with Dad and, and my fishing videos and stuff like that. And I never really put any focus. I have an Instagram page for Fixius Lures, but I never really put a video out there saying, hey, this is what's going on. I kind of just started an Instagram page. And um, those of you that follow me on IG are well aware um, that I have that, uh, that I make spoons. A lot of you have ordered from me. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, so my goal with Fixius was to provide a quality product that was not only affordable, right? Customizable, okay? But also unique, all right? We'll start with the affordable part. You ever find yourself, obviously, if you're watching this video, you have, but you ever find yourself, for the sake of the example, at Walmart, at Bass Pro, right? You pick up a lure, you go, oh, that's nice. And you pick it up. I like that. And and you realize it's like $7.49, and you're like, that kind of sucks. Like that's okay, it's a really nice lure, I'm probably gonna get it anyway, and we've all been there, and we've all paid that, but it's like, I'd rather not, you know what I mean? Like, if I if I could not pay that for a lure. You you get one of these, you go to the story, try to find one of these, it's, it's 10 to 20 bucks. I'd rather not, you know what I'm saying? But my goal was to, was to make a lure that everybody could buy, okay? It was to make a lure that everybody could uh, say, hey, I like that, like, I wanna get one or two. Right, not something that you go on the website. We've all been there, and you're, or you go to the store, and you're just like, ah, phew, swipe out. I don't want. It. Right? It's like, okay, well, yeah, obviously that doesn't benefit me because I'm not making a sale. But it's more than that because for every person that's going to slide out, there's going to be a person who doesn't care about the price, and they're going to buy it. So, uh, it was more more so about like for the people like me because I haven't, like I, I go to a store and I'm not gonna spend 750 on a lure and if I do, I gotta like really like it. And even then it's like, I fish with it different. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I fish with the lure different. I completely, uh, it completely changes the way I fish. It changes the way I cast. It changes where I cast, how I cast, how I retrieve, how far I let the lure sink, everything. It changes, it changes the entire boat. Sometimes I've bought a lure and I haven't thrown it just because I liked it. Because I looked at it and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back to the store and see if I can get another one. And I can't find it. And so I won't throw that lure because I like it so much and I'm like pissed off that I only have one and if I lose it, I'm gonna be mad. I'm not gonna be able to find it again. All of this shit, right? But I wanna make one that you don't have to worry about finding another one. I always make you another one. And on top of that, it's like, you don't have to worry. You could fish this with confidence. You could chuck this shit wherever you wanna chug it. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want with it. Throw it in there without a line. Chum with it. I don't care. But what I'm saying is you don't have to, you don't have to worry. You know, um, I, I know I may sound petty and I may sound cheap and, 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 you know, penny pincher, but it's like, you know, some people don't have money to just blow on tackle and tackle is, is they call it terminal tackle. I believe personally that this is terminal tackle as much as that sucks. I believe that this is terminal tackle. This is a weight. This is a hook. This is a, a swivel, right? This is this is all stuff that's like, it's the high, high, high probability that it's gonna go. It's you're gonna lose it, right? You're gonna need more. Um, and so yeah, I wanted to make something that they you know maybe you don't have to worry about that so much. So there's that. Um, and then we come to the uniqueness. Uh, I'm sick of going to stores and I only see uh, the black and yellow. And then I see the orange and then I see the bright pink and then I see the, and I'm like, like, that's cool. But you couldn't have done anything else to it. Like you have a multi-million dollar, like you got machines that print, like you couldn't have added like a stripe. Like you couldn't have, like, it's just like, bam, all pink, blah. And I'm just like, okay, like that's, that's cool. But like for those people that want it, but you couldn't have made another one with like, maybe not all pink, maybe like a, maybe like a stripe through the paint, maybe pink with dots, maybe pink. I don't know, be creative, sit down, you, this is your company, sit down for two seconds and figure something out. This is wild because I don't see any originality, I don't see any, it's just all the same shit. I go to the tackle store, it's all the same shit, always the same shit. And I hate it. And so I 
like people that always say, oh, hard for you to come up with patterns and ideas and blah, 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 and this. This is power bait. My girl came up with this. I can't even take uh, responsibility for this. This is power bait. Well, one of the versions of power bait that, that she wanted painted. And this is how she wanted it. And it looks like a piece of rainbow power bait. I'm not gonna lie. You look at the colors. If you fish with rainbow power bait, that shit kind of looks like rainbow power bait. I'm not gonna lie. So anyway, but it's like, it's not, it's not hard to come up with stuff because they, it, I know exactly what not to do. Like, I'm not just going to spread, unless this is what you want and you message me on my Instagram or YouTube and you're just like, hey, I need you to spray me five spoons and I want them all fluorescent orange. And I'm like, that's it? And you're like, that's it. And I say, are you sure? And you go, yeah. I'm going to say, okay, because you're a customer and I make spoons and you want that. So I'm going to make that for you and they're going to be to the best of my ability. But like, I don't want that to be all that I do. I want stuff different. And I don't find the stuff that I have in my head, the designs that I have in my head, I've never seen them anywhere. I've never gone to a tackle store and been like, like, oh, hey, look at that, I'm gonna get that. There are always ones that I go and I'm like, oh, wouldn't that be cool if it had, right? How many times have we all been there? You look at something, you see it at the store and the first thing that pops into your head is you're like, that's awesome, right? But wouldn't it be cool if it had dots? I don't, I don't know. Wouldn't it be cool if it had something? It's like that X factor. There's something that's missing. I could do that for you, which leads me, which leads me to the custom customizableness, right? I'll be your lure whore, okay? I do whatever you want me to do, okay? You know what I'm saying? You know, I do whatever you want me to do, all right? You want to push stripe? I'll push stripe. You want to stripe that way? You want to stripe going the other way? I'll stripe the other way, okay? You want black? You want white? I do it for you. Whatever you want, I'll do it for you. Okay, it's no big deal because that's what I want. That's the goal. It's not like, oh, you'll do anything to make money. Well, yeah, that's true. I will do anything to make money to a point. However, it's not about that. It's about the fact of like, um, you ever lost your keys and then all of a sudden been like, shit, I'd give anything to know where my keys are right now. Well, I'm trying to give you a tiny version of that. It's like, okay, well, you go to the store, they don't have that, right? I'm trying to give you the, oh, if it could only have, oh, if I could only have a lure and it had a, it had the eyes and, and it was bleeding under the chin instead of by the ass right? Or it was bleeding by the chin instead of bleeding by the tail. Like I, I, I wish I want to give that to you, right? You send me a message you go, Hey, this, I want it like this, but with that, you can even send me a picture of another lure and say, Hey, just add this and I'll replicate that lure and add what you want me to add, send it to you. Right? No big deal. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want not only to have the confidence when you fish with it, uh, but I also want the uniqueness and the ability to get what you want. That's the ultimate. It's not like, oh, you can get what I have, right? It's like, you can get what you want, okay? Work with me, we'll work something out, send pictures back and forth, work out, okay, you want that, awesome, cool. We'll do, we'll do, it works, right? Um, all right, this is a long ass video. Uh, no, if and you guys are wondering like, oh, is this becoming a freaking page about making lures and this and that? No, it is not. I'm still completely sticking with Outside With Dad, but Outside With Dad also is Fixius. Uh, and so I kind of can't differentiate between the two, but no, they're not just going to be random videos about like making lures unless you guys want that. Um, this was just explaining to you guys, Hey, this is what's going on. I'm making lures, um, for all of you that follow me, if you didn't know, now, you know, uh, and yeah, um, moving forward, uh, Everyone's getting their vaccine, stuff's reopening back up. Uh, it's still gonna take a while in my opinion. I'm not a fortune teller, but that's what I think. I think it's just gonna take a while. Um, until then, I'm gonna be doing more Tackle Tuesdays. I'm gonna be more, doing more dad tips, uh, um, just stuff like that to give you some of the stuff that I have planned here. Uh, I got uh, rigging the spoons that I make the best ways, uh, trout rigs for river compared to lake. Uh, drifting for salmon, Alaska compared to Cali, halibut rigs, the difference in hook length, does it matter? Um, short or long, does the weather matter whether it's short or long? How to cure, uh, how to rig for, or how to rig for catching bait, uh, best baits for trout, striper, catfish, salmon, steelhead, mackerel, anchovy, sardines, all this stuff. Um, I got a lot of videos planned. So we're gonna be going over that and those will be uh, drizzled salt bayed in to uh, all of the fishing videos that will be coming up. And uh, looking forward to the trip to Alaska this year. That is also coming up. That is going to be killer. I am so excited. I am so excited. Stop texting me. I am so excited for that. Um, oh, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, and then uh, I don't want to say anything else. We were trying to fit in like a Montana or a Colorado in there too, but I don't want to get my hopes up for that. But Alaska, I'm coming for you again. It sounds so good to say that again. Like I've already been there. It's 
awesome. Uh, yeah, so a lot of stuff coming, guys. Um, stay tuned. You guys are helping make my dream come true. Uh, just wait. I just got goosebumps saying that. I just swear to you, bro. I just got goosebumps saying that. You can't tell. That was a bad arm to show you because I want to ask tattoos. This one doesn't. Anyway. All right. That's the end of this video. If you stuck around, you're an OG. I appreciate you. Let's do it.